This exhibit, the Wildlife Photographer of the Year, has been going on for 55 years. It started in 1965 in London. Uh, the BBC actually started it. And it's now completely owned and operated by the Natural History Museum in London. It travels the world to bring the best photography of the year to people all over the globe. And it includes both amateur photographs and um, professional photographers. It, it shows us a span of anyone who's capturing the natural world and the best work they've done. Really the finest exhibition anywhere in the world of nature photography. 48,000 people, both amateur and professional, submitted uh, their photographs for the competition this year from 100 countries across the world. What you can see here is 100 best photographs from that crop. You know, the Academy is always thinking about how we can inform and initiate and convene conversations about the natural world with the hopes and the idea that it will change the way you behave in the natural world because you know more and you care about it more and you want to do more to protect it. We feel that way about every exhibit and this one is so relevant because it falls in line with our mission to bring these kinds of stories to you. What this exhibition brings to the Academy is the opportunity to fulfill our mission. Uh, it's an institution that for 200 years has been a force of nature and for the next 200 years will be a force for nature. So for us, this exhibition reminds people that there is nature, not just on the Serengeti Plains, but in the suburbs of our city, in the heart of our city. It reminds us that nature is all around us. I think it connects us to the global world that's out there. And for me, I look at these animals and these environments and it makes me think about the way I'm impacting the world right here at home. And I remember that it's all connected. So far, the feedback has been absolutely tremendous. Uh, with diverse audiences of all ages are coming in and really enjoying it and getting something from it. It's provoking conversation. It's certainly stimulating my initial thought was, wow, <laughs> this is really cool, it's really amazing. It's amazing to see wildlife in their natural habitat. You can come here and see jaguars hiding underneath logs, lions playing around underneath a tree, and hippos uh, swimming in the water. One of the things we're already seeing is that people are spending a long time here in the show. Uh, from an, an exhibit standpoint, a long time is anything over 15 minutes. We've been seeing visitors averaging around 20 to 22 minutes in this show, and it's because they're reading the stories that go along with every picture and talking to one another about what they see. That's, that's the dream for everything we bring out. And so it's great to see people using this as a prompt to have conversations and think more deeply about the world that we live in. What the exhibition does, and now more than ever, is like any great exhibition, it gives us a moment to think to be absorbed within some of the greatest amateur and professional photography in the world right now gives us just a moment outside of ourselves, a moment outside of our daily routine. One of the sections of the show that I think is most powerful is the section on photojournalism. And those are images captured in nature with very little editing and change. Those in this exhibit really show us the impact that man has on the natural world. And I think that's a wonderful reminder that the things we do affect not just us, but the people and the animals and the environments around us. I think that's a really powerful message and we are really excited to bring it here. Always the best way to learn about the Academy is at our website, ansp.org. And from there you can get resources, not just about this exhibition, but about all of the impactful research that we do as an institution that is for 200 years being a force of nature, and for the next 200 years is gonna be a force for nature. So whether it's um, panel discussions through to blog posts, through to learning programs, it's all there, it's all available, and it's all free.